Oh, hello there. Welcome to my lab. I'm here today doing some chemistry. Who knew that cooking was chemistry? Baking, who knew, is chemistry. Today, I'm going to be making some Anzac biscuits. I love making Anzac biscuits. They're a great way to remember all the war heroes that sacrificed so much for us in the past. I have my list of ingredients, and because I'm in my chemistry laboratory, I have got my solids, so I've got sugar, oats, coconut, flour, and butter, and baking soda, and they are all solids. As well as solids, I also need liquid. So I've got golden syrup, and I am going to turn the butter into a liquid. I need to change my butter from a solid to a liquid. So by putting it in a saucepan and turning the heat on, that will melt. Now if you're going to do this at home, if you're going to make the cookies, you need a grown-up to help you with the heat. So while my butter's melting, I'm going to add my other liquid. So I'm adding my golden syrup. And we're just going to leave that on the heat a little while so it can all melt and change state. Everything's all melted. Turn off my oven, turn off my stove. And here I have my butter in its change state. It's gone from a solid and it's now a liquid. But, very exciting, very interesting. This butter, if I cool it down in the fridge, it will change back to being a solid. I don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some water with my baking soda, just a little bit, mix that together. And this is the part I enjoy the most. Gosh, I enjoy this part. When I mix my baking soda with my butter and my golden syrup, there is a chemical change. Watch. It goes white, lighter, and it's all fluffy and frothy. Look at that. That's amazing. So part of my recipe is, is that I need to mix Ranu, all my dry ingredients together. So I'm just going to put my flour, coconut, oats, sugar, all together and just give them a little stir. There we go, that'll do. Alright, so the interesting thing about all of these dry ingredients, these solid ingredients, is they are hydrophilic. They love water. So they're kind of like a dry sponge and they soak up all that water inside them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour my liquid into my dry ingredients. Scraping it all out because I want all that yummy golden syrup and butter. And then I just give it a gentle stir around. I don't want to make too much of a mess here, so I'll have to clean it up. Making sure I get every single bit wet. Every little bit needs to, needs to absorb the liquid. Otherwise my cookies will be crumbly. So the final thing to do is to make the change of state permanent. So, just like I did with the butter, I'm going to apply heat to create this change. And they go in the oven 180 degrees for 15 minutes. Right, last of my cookies are ready. So what I want you to think about now is can we unmake the cookies? 
Can we separate out all the parts, the butter, the coconut, the sugar, the flour? Can they all be separated out? Is the change in the ingredients permanent?